Hunters in a Kwaibom State, under the ages of the Professional Hunters Association of Nigeria, a Kwaibom State Command, have unveiled the Marine Surveillance Department to fight against sea pirate activities and other related crimes in a Kwaibom State. <laughs> This was as the organization flagged off the 500 million naira fund rising for the purchase of six patrol boats with 12 200 HP outboard engines, three patrol vehicles and security gadgets at Oron Township Stadium on Saturday, 25th November 2022. The event commenced in earnest with parade, inspection of guard of honor. The quietness of our government explains how important this is to our role and our purpose in general. But what we have seen in our role today. Setting the tune of the event, the National Coordinator and Organizing Secretary of the organization, Chief Yomi Charles, said the organization, which was founded in 2017 across all states, exists with members in Akwaibom State. And the Panda National Panda of Prohan, the home petition. Yomi called on a Kwaibom state governor to support the organization with monthly salaries, like other states are doing, to their hunters who played major roles in fighting against crime in the state. Please, the indigenous of Kwaibom, please, listen to this story very well. I was thinking the representative of the governor will be here. Because uh, in my own Bible, they said the prophet has no honor in his town. It's like we don't know what we have in our Bible. If we are to read which are the one doing it in all program in the Tassi State, our Bible will be number one. As for our members of program, our Bible is number one. But the support from the government is zero. We have more than five states that state government has given very good to our program. What they are doing now, I'm not surprised because it's key not to what other states are doing. Go to Adamawa Yubi, where you have Boko Haram, seriously. Go and see the profile of what program has done in those places. In Adamawa, government is paying 2,000 people salary of program members. In Yobe, Adamawa, then uh, Bauchi, governments are paying them salaries. Sir. Please, I, I heard somebody say somebody is representing a politician here, please. Or I guess you are the one in white. Please pass this message to our people. I'm talking on behalf of the national pro, uh, president. We are not happy the way they are treating our people here. These people are doing very well. They are not being paid salary. Are you being paid salary? Okay, please encourage these people. They are families. Vehicles to go and walk in Aquaibon. You cannot provide us one vehicle. Even the local government chairman can do any vehicle to these people. Did they give any work? No! And still, they are still trying. We are here today to solicit your support. My demand is on two pages. Number one, to the state government. Number two, is to the Nigerian police. Please, representative of the Commission of Police, please be back. I can't remember precisely one of the states now. The CP gave us one old illos. We are repairing it now. Even if it's the old one, he was, it's motivation. We'll do more for you people. These people are saying they are not ordinary people. They can give more and they will reduce your job. Please, we beg you, get the message to the commissioner. They should help us with very good. We don't demand for much. After that, the local government, even if it is 10,000, these people are not being paid. This uniform, you want it yourself, is that not? Yeah. Everything they are doing it on themselves. We should motivate them. Please, I beg the politicians. If they are not, if there's no peace in the land, if the uh, whatever from the rural people come inside, the politicians will not have peace in their house. These are the people that have volunteered that they want to go and face them. Please support and encourage us. Speaking at the event, the chairman of the occasion, His Majesty 
Dr. Ime S. Epo, while declaring the event open, donated one outboard engine boat to the organization for the fight against sea pirates in Aquaibom waterways. I see how they contributed, they contributed to an effort, which I am, I'm assured to give them one outboard. It is helping us. If it does not help you, it helps the generation to come. When we are putting hands together to fight and do these attackers of the progress, you come to see that it is all about that what we are saying, a window for an hour. Around the window to be open so that the sweet breeze comes into the Thank you. The participants of this great occasion, thank you, our great country and the state, thank you. The law enforcement agencies are coming today and the generals are sending to come and presented these great occasions today to hear and see what we put hands together and bring us the positive. Thank you. Oh, yes. Epo, who is also the spokesperson articulated movement for a better Nigeria and President Incarnate Odin Limited worldwide, lamented the daily and weekly mayhem and wanton destruction of life and property by sea pirates in Aquaibom waterways. We know exactly what is going on in the water. Sea pirates are troublesome, troubling. There is no week, there is no month that people are not putting in sorrows. They can capture you, take over all whatever that you've been bought, either from Cameroon or from anywhere or whatever. A little from here to Canada, when it is Either two, three o'clock in the afternoon, not even night. We don't enter water again at night. You can't drive at night. Immediately after six, seven o'clock, you are not entered water again. If you enter, they will seize the flying boat, seize everything that of your own belonging. If you don't have money to give to them, the way they demand, they seize the boat from you or they capsize the boat. Take over everything that is here. So please, uh, we contributively put hands together with each of the, of the, of the, of the local government, not only our own local government alone that is being what along, to put hand. Allow these hunters to fight attack the attackers of the progress for us the link of the one that remains we leave it we leave it to the almighty god and the nigerian police and the army they have they put so many efforts unlike other states so many efforts are there Speaking further in his capacity as the leader of Omoe Nolete 2023, Epo said Governor Udomi Manuel, before the expiration of his tenure in his completion agenda, will do more to the organization as his successor, Pastor Omoeno, who will take over from him, will align with the organization's struggle. I believe a we will improve. I trust. Our evil governor is going to put on a largest. He has already promising them. At the last campaign that he went, during his um, uh, the first tenor and the second tenor, he has been promising them the boats, promising them boats, flying boats, at least for them to go into water. I know. Before the expiration of his tenor, he will try 
Whatever that he is unable to finish, I believe, whoever has his successor, he is coming to do as, as a son. On his part, the chairman of Oron Logo Government Council, represented by Chief Okon Asukwo, applauded the hunters for the move to contribute to the security challenges in the area and assure the people that Akwai Bumstead remains the most peaceful place in the country as Governor Udom Emmanuel do not joke with security issues in the state while assuring the hunters he will take their message down to the governor for robust integration. As a politician, I say to the governor, Akwai Bumstead, and um, if I want to be in the chair, Akwai Bumstead is one of the most peaceful states when we talk about the security. And we know the governor of Akwai Bumstead is one of the governors that does not joke with security issue. So, um, my brother, the national coordinator, I thank you because you also commented what I'm saying when you were talking to your people here. What I have seen as also an essay to the governor, I promise you I will equally take a message. I will take a message myself. Yes. Ulap Asukwa, who attended the event in a dual capacity representing the deputy governorship candidate, Senator Akon Iyare, said he believes that the Commissioner of Police in Akwaibum State, CP Olatoye Durosimi, during their security meeting with the governor, will endeavor to present the hunter's prayers before the governor. I am here representing the two persons mentioned by the FC. Senator representing the good people of Akwaibum South Senatorial District, Mrs. Sako Neyaradi, PhD, also double as the incoming deputy governor of Akwaibum State, 2023. And the executive chairman of our own local government, who happens to be the chief security officer of this local government, Honorable Pastor Evian Bassi. My case and my position is very simple. With what I have seen now, if the governor, my boss, is aware of this program and he is also properly a brief, brief of this development, I am telling you, governor would have sent the representative to the At the state level, he must have the leadership that can push. But I know, I trust the leadership of the police of today. And I also trust the leadership of the DPO, the regional uh, police officer here in Iran, which they host this program. I also say that the Commissioner of Police has a vital role to play in this issue. Because Commissioner of Police has a security meeting with the governor. He has a role to, to play. And I also have a role to play. The senator that asked me to come will also have a very useful role to play. Because she did not know the level of his uh, professional hunter. Now that I have come to see, I have to report back to her the way it is. And I'm also happy with, the, with my senior brother from Ikari Bane, Senator District. He has said something here that even if my boss tenure come to an end, the successor will continue to do what is right. But I know if the message to get to the governor in office now, actually, the governor will do something. Something similar that I want to say. I want to encourage you guys, young men and young girl, ladies that have decided to save your father's land. I want to say congratulations. I also want to appeal to you 
I want, I want to appeal, appeal to you. you. Let, Let me use um, a dialect that uh, some of us here will not understand. Na orange rock go bleed zaga la go jump jump. Okay, I got me pump it. No, no, me pump it. No, so I be you know area. Don't be a professional hunters in the morning, in the afternoon, and in the night. You turn to be an arm robber. The mission you have taken today to save your father's life, I'm here to tell you that you will never live to regret. Because we will do everything humanly possible to make sure that your interest is highly protected. Therefore, I say for you taking that decision that God will bless all of you. In Jesus' mighty name. Similarly, the Deputy Governorship Candidate of the Young Progressive Party, YPP, AIG, Asukuo Amba, retired, said he has a good working relationship with the hunters during his days in office as the Commissioner of Police in Ekiti and Bayosa, affirming that with cooperation of the hunters, insecurity will be a thing of the past. While was mobilizing the Olodes, we mobilized the other Olodes and they took charge of the forest for us. When I was commissioner of police in Bayelsa, we worked close and in hand with the hunters, and they performed marvelously. Amber handed over a donation of one outboard engine boat to the organization donated by the YPP governorship candidate, Senator Bassi Albert, to the organization assuring the hunters that Senator Albert, when elected into power as the governor of Akwaibom State in the 2023 general election, will work with them. Fortunately, because of some scheduled assignment, they could not come. But he has asked me to deliver, as a party who thinks much about security, as a party who has the interest of the people, as a party that knows that a secure environment it's the only way you can economically survive. He has specifically asked me to liaise with one of your general. I did not only liaise, as I yesterday, he had handed over a speedboat and a 75 horsepower engine. That is, that is the distinguished senator's contribution to this project. But I can assure you, more will be coming. Well, I appreciate all of you for laying your life for a secure environment. May God guide and protect you. May God guide and protect you. May you vote in a better party that will come in and ensure that the environment is more secure. Thank you and God bless. Furthermore, the Akwaibom State Commissioner of Police, CP Olatoye Durosimi, represented by Bashiru Hasim, while donating security gadget to the organization called on the hunters to match words with action as security is not a one-man affair. In that regard, I would like to tell you that the Commissioner of Police has donated 10 life-saving jackets to admit this December will be a free and smooth ferry on the water. Thank you. I like that. Others who spoke at the event were the Divisional Police Officer, DPO of Oron Division, among others. Particularly in the waterways. Uh, on behalf of my DPO, CSP, Benjamin, I know we have a very good working relationship with hunters. We are together with them in our office receiving the commissioner of police. So whatever we are doing, we equally uh, call them. 
Because security is not a one-man business. It's our business, all of us. For now, the one that is pathetic on record is that these bad boys, or they say they should call them good boys, drove in just one early in the morning and kidnapped 10 workers. I want to say that if we are talking of the best security today, it is the hunters. The Credo TV show on NTA had a one-on-one -on -one interview with the following personalities at the event. Well, it's a sacrifice they are making, so the their reward lies with a better government. If they, if they live up to their responsibility, I can assure you that the incoming government will really take it as a priority that they have to be here. Today, I'm very grateful for the provisional orders. Nigeria, more grateful to our president and the general that makes up this uh, occasion to be very, very successful. I'm so grateful to God, and you can imagine, you can see the weather that shows that the God is with us. I'm very grateful, definitely by the grace of God, because God is the leader of everything. I believe, with the help of uh, a state government, we will deliver and make it success. Truly, I love what is going on today. What we have seen today, me and you have seen, it is what we were long expecting. But to God be the glory that he has come up today. And with all the things we have seen today, our main aim and focus now is that we need government to come to our end. Because we cannot do it as a professional hunter. We cannot do it on our own. Except government will come in and assist us because there are things we need to do this work. So please, we need government to come in and donate some things to use and do this work.